Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. In today's video, we're taking a look at three stocks that were all recently rated by one of the top analysts out there and all have some pretty attractive upside potential. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. Like I said, today we're looking at three stocks with some really great growth potential. I came across these three companies by using the TipRank's Top Experts section, where you can take a look at lists from the top 25 Wall Street analysts, financial bloggers, corporate insiders, and hedge fund managers. So I decided to take a look at the top 25 Wall Street analysts. After looking at several, there were a few picks that caught my eye from the number two analyst on there, Brian Nagel from Oppenheimer. Looking at his stock coverage, we can see that he's updated or maintained several buy ratings within this last week. And there were three that particularly stood out to me for their great potential upside. So we're gonna take a closer look at those three companies, what it is that they do, and what other analysts think about them as well. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check out the TipRank's YouTube channel to catch my daily pre-market morning update videos where we're giving you everything you need to know before the opening bell. All right, now the first company we're taking a look at is Chromadex Corporation. They trade under the ticker CDXC and are currently priced at $12.25 per share. You can see as well at the end of February, they had a big spike up in price, so I will address this right away. But first, let's quickly look at what Chromadex does. They are a global bioscience company dedicated to healthy aging. The Chromadex team is pioneering research on nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD, levels of which decline with age. Chromadex is the innovator behind NAD precursor nicotinamide riboside, which is commercialized as the flagship ingredient in Niagen. Now the company's shares shot up over 90% at the end of February there, as they released promising results from a phase three trial using their drug in a ronivirus treatment. The company released a press release saying that their phase three clinical trial using their nutritional protocol to treat ronivirus patients had returned promising results, significantly reducing recovery time for patients. This is a preprint publication, meaning it was yet to be peer reviewed, but the current study built on phase two clinical data from October. Their price movement came after they also announced a private placement of $25 million worth of stock. So that was a great boost for them, but they do have a lot of other positives happening as well. As they have their one proven and proprietary NAD boosting supplement, True Niagen, who made up over $47 million of total $59 million of sales in 2020. They see significant near-term opportunity driven by trends in health and wellness, with the global anti-aging market of $410 billion expected to grow 6%. True Niagen is gaining share in the healthy aging and fitness categories with the potential to expand to larger addressable markets. They're expanding global distribution and introducing new products. With their e-commerce representing about 60% of their business today, they expanded to the UK and Australia in 2020, and they'll be launching in Walmart in the US here in 2021. And they have strong momentum and financial discipline, seeing their revenue compound annual growth rate of 50% and gross margin increasing from 48 to 60% since their strategic pivot to focus on the consumer product, True Niagen. In their recent Q4 results, the total company net sales were up 9%. Their net loss was 6.1 million or 10 cents per share compared to a net loss of 8.9 million or 15 cents per share in the fourth quarter of 2019. The Chromadex stock currently has four analyst ratings and it comes in as a strong buy. The average price target is $15.75 per share for about a 28% potential upside. Looking at our detailed list of analyst forecasts, we can see Brian Nagel there who gave his price target about five days ago with a $17 price target for a 39% potential upside. But Brian isn't even the most bullish. We also have Jeff Van Sinderen from B. Riley Financial who gave an $18 price target for a 47% potential upside. Next up, we have Purple Innovation. Trading under the ticker PRPL, they're currently priced at $31.35 per share. 
Purple designs and manufactures a variety of innovative premium branded comfort products. This not only includes mattresses, but also pillows, seat and back cushions, frames, sheets, and more. In their most recent fourth quarter earnings report, their net revenue increased 39.9% to $173.9 million. Their direct-to-consumer revenue increased 57%, and their operating income increased 171.1% to $7.5 million. Taking a look at the full year of 2020, their net revenue increased 51.4% to $648.5 million. Their gross margin increased 290 basis points, and their net income was $10.9 million, compared to a net loss of $12.4 million in the full year of 2019. So big improvements there. Purple Innovation has nine analyst ratings on their stock. And it also comes in as a strong buy, with an average price target of $36.78 for about a 17% potential upside on the average. Taking a look at our detailed list, Brian Nagel reiterated his buy target just today, and with a $45 price target, he's looking at about a 43% potential upside. In the last couple of weeks, we had multiple analysts come in with about a $32 price target, but there is one other $45 price target on there as well. And last but not least, we have Mohawk Group Holdings. Trading under the ticker MWK, they're currently priced at $30.68 per share. They are a tech-enabled consumer product company who develops proprietary technology, leveraging data and artificial intelligence to bring their customers the products they desire in an efficient manner. They process and analyze millions of data points along the consumer's journey, including product details, reviews, and search results to build products that provide value for their customers. And this is done with their product, Amy, or their AI Mohawk e-commerce engine. Amy helps automate research that utilizes live market data to track exposure and product trends to quickly discover new market and product opportunities. The trading engine is built to implement automated marketing strategies and learn through experimentation. The result is an algorithmic solution optimized for live decisions to scale sales, and it manages fulfillment and supply chain logistics to enable faster delivery of products to consumers. And this is a market that is massive and rapidly expanding as they expect worldwide e-commerce sales to grow to $6.4 trillion by 2024. Part of their business is that they merge and acquire with Amazon sellers. As they say, there are a large amount of small Amazon sellers that have a lack of technology and scalability. So Mohawk purchases their listing IP assets and relationship with the manufacturer, which generally results in no additional headcount for Mohawk. Examples of this include their Smash acquisition, in which they acquired 43 products in an asset-only deal and had a quick post-closing integration within 48 hours, helping sell their different home products seen here. As well as Truio, who was another asset-only deal with that quick post-closing integration for their Posture Corrector. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I saw a ton of ads for those Posture Correctors on all of my social media. Their business model is driving improved year-over-year -year results, with a 50% net revenue compound annual growth rate since 2017, and 45% net revenue growth from the third quarter of 2020 to the third quarter of 2019. Mohawk Group Holdings has five current analyst ratings. And once again, we have another strong buy. Their average price target is $44.80 for a 46% potential upside. And all of those ratings were reiterated or signed within the last eight days. Brian Nagel coming in with the highest price target at $50 per share for a nearly 63% potential upside. So there we have three stocks, all recently rated by one of the highest rated analysts on TibRanks. Guys, he is number two out of over 7,300 analysts and all with some pretty attractive potential upside from 30, 40 to 60%. Now you guys know I love hearing from you, so make sure to leave your thoughts on the comments down below. What do you think about these three companies and what others have been catching your eye lately? Please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for entertainment and information purposes. Any investment decision needs to be made based on your own research and due diligence. If you made it all the way to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Don't forget to check out the Tip Ranks YouTube channel every morning to catch my pre-market morning update. Thank you guys so much for watching and cheers.